reporting from the opening ceremony for the Special Olympics Sweden Invitational Games 2020. Tonight, 300 athletes from over 20 countries have kicked off the official competition here in Östersund and Aare. Already here tonight during the opening ceremony, you could feel the expectations rising as the athletes are getting ready to showcase their skills and to experience the thrill of competition. Over the course of three action-packed days, the athletes will showcase their skills across seven sports being already grouped in different divisions. As the athletes already demonstrated during the training sessions and the opening ceremony, this is all about celebrating the power of inclusion. And just like the audience here, you can already feel the excitement growing and I think it's time to start the games. For the movement, we're thrilled to be here. Uh, uh, winter sports are, are a critical part of, of our movement's success. For decades, since the founding of our movement, we have brought a big impact to nations across the world. We think that these invitational games will bring added impact to the country of Sweden, which is a leader in winter sports. A huge thanks to the European Union's continued consideration to support not only the sports performance of people with intellectual disability, but more importantly, the way in which sports enriches their lives, provides them with better fitness, provides them with better physical and mental health, provides the larger community with a chance to volunteer and really engage civically with and for a population that brings so much to their community, so a big thanks to the European Union. So if there's one message, it's that the Invitational Games is a pioneering effort not only in sport, but in bringing inclusive health to the country of Sweden. People with intellectual disabilities across the world, including in Sweden and across Scandinavia, are in urgent need of better services on the health and care side. Special Olympics is a proud partner of that, and we believe that will be one of its most vibrant legacies. Everyone uh, has uh, have a dream to uh, represent uh, the country and in the home country is a special moment for everybody to be here. I just wanted to come here and sense the amazing atmosphere and do some dance and sing along and meet my friends and enjoy the snow of course. Everyone do their best and of course everyone wants to win but they are cheering up for each other and there is a really good atmosphere and if you don't succeed like you wanted, if you don't win, of course it matters but there's always someone cheering up for you and holding your bag and holding your hand and you always get some new friends and so these are the best events basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah.